Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? We got us something. We got a book. Oh yeah, I ordered this book. Uh, Clean Code, a handbook of agile software craftsmanship. This came uh, at a suggestion of one of my coworkers and I'm actually really excited about this book um, because the concept is that it teaches structuring your code as you go. For those who don't know, the idea of agile programming or agile programming um, is that you just do it, right? And you don't know what the future holds until you get there and you have to make sure that your code and your processes are flexible enough to handle that. And so this is kind of like a little bit of a guidebook on how to do that. And so I'm excited about this because <laughs> Yesterday I wrote an article. I've been writing articles about the random weapon generator that I've created and um, I'm writing articles basically to get up to the point where the website is right now. And then I'm going to continue writing articles as I develop uh, out the rest of the kind of item generation mechanism that is going to go into this game engine that then that website will slowly transition into something probably playable. Um, I hope to. I really hope to. Like, I have a whole lot of ideas about how to make it work good. Um, but I wrote this article yesterday that was a little bit harsh. It, it was pointed at the, the, the saviors of the internet, of the, of the junior programmer who is searching how to do something, and they find a page like mine, and it has some code on it. And they don't know that that code isn't um, there's a lot of people who like to crap on 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 what they perceive as bad code, right? because they have their way, and their way is obviously the best way because they've researched it for years. And what I usually find is those people are either very insecure. Uh, or they've never actually worked on a project that is alive. <laughs> they've only ever theorized about working on projects and have never actually worked on anything real. So instead of saying things like, oh, this seems to, you know, this is, this works great, uh, but you could refactor it this way. They just say, no, you're an idiot. Why aren't you using my way? Because my way is the best way, dot com. And it's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. And um, I'm building this thing as just a stupid little PHP project to build a website that's playable. And I, I don't care about whatever framework or uh, templating engine or all these other things that require me to have Composer up and running. I don't, that means nothing. I don't want any of that stuff. And so I've been writing these disclaimers in my article, like the code that you're going to see here is bad. Uh, you shouldn't use it, but feel free to if you want, because if you use it, you're going to get laughed at, essentially, is what it comes down to. Because that's the reality. Uh, if somebody goes and looks at my code, they're going to be like, this is just absolute garbage. But it's very easy to read. And for me, that's the trade-off. Especially when I'm working on something like this, where there's n this isn't some sort of mission-critical software. It's just a learning exercise for me. It's a, it, hopefully a bit of a learning exercise for the person who might be reading that blog. And um, I can kind of walk through some of the reasons that I do things out of my own, quote, laziness, which is what I said in the article. And for those of you who don't know anything about programming, um, there's really like, there's a few camps. There's a few, there's a few ways of writing software that people think are the best ways of writing software. And imagine it like organizing something. If you go to a hardware store and you're looking for a certain bolt, you can search their bolt catalog and find it quickly because it's been organized in an efficient manner. And most software developers look at code in the same way. And there's a few different ways of doing that. One of those is object-oriented, which is everything is supposed to be an object. So this is tape, and tape is an item, and items have gravity. And this is a book, and a book is an item. So the book also has gravity because 
it, it falls under the umbrella of item, you know, so you can kind of logically step through all these pieces. I get it. I understand it. I like it. Um, but it doesn't really have a place for me in this software, right? It, it, it unnecessarily encumbers me uh, because I'm writing it in PHP. And for some reason, when I talk about it like, like that, I get a whole lot of pushback. Um, yes, there are ways of writing very good object-oriented design frameworks into PHP. There are quite a few frameworks that provide that for you. Um, the goal for me is not to build a project currently that relies on somebody else's product. So, to tell you the story, if I, if I get this game engine up and running and I get this website working, I'm going to publish the code. And when I publish the code, I want somebody, able to, somebody who is interested in it to be able to download the code and run the code. And that's kind of the beauty of PHP. There's nothing else going on. If I can do it all in just raw PHP, pure vanilla PHP, without the need for any extra libraries, nobody has to install... Uh, compose, install anything, there's no setup of Laravel, there's no setup of anything outside of the, g the usual stuff, jQuery, the, you know, stuff that you can source from a CDN, a content delivery network. That's what I want to do. Do a pull request, you know, or, a, or not a pull request, but pull my code uh, and navigate to index.php and it should work. Theoretically. You have to do set up your database and that sort of stuff. I can't do that for you. And there's a couple of lines in a config file you'll have to set up. But other than that, it should work. And you shouldn't have to install a bunch of other packages or jump through a bunch of hoops to make this thing work. And that's how I'm approaching this project. So for me to uh, say, well, first you have to get this version of Laravel because I'm developing that version and I'm not keeping it updated. And I don't want any of that. So I wrote this article about... <laughs> kind of being mean to those people. And I said, you know, something along the lines of, if you don't like what you see here, feel free to shut up about it, because I don't want to hear it. Uh, if you have constructive criticism, you know, right now, uh, on top of Clean Code, the Agile book, I'm diving a little deeper into functional programming, and I'm looking at how I can clean up the code that way. So if somebody comes along and says, hey, this, this works, but I, here's a good functional way of doing the same thing, awesome. You know, I'm always open to constructive criticism, but just bashing somebody saying, well, this is stupid, you should be using Laravel, or this is stupid, you should be using this framework, or why aren't you doing this in, in whatever JavaScript framework is the, the new one to use today. I don't want to use any of that stuff. That's why I'm doing it this way. Give me a, give me a better way of doing it with the constraint that I'm just doing this with just vanilla PHP. Anyway... I like learning. So this is going to be interesting because I think the whole concept of this is keeping your code flexible so that you can adapt it on the fly. That's what I want to try. Enough about complaining. I, I, I don't like being a complainer, but I also don't like being told that I'm an idiot. Uh, clearly I'm not. I've never taken a CS class. I wasn't indoctrinated into the current whatever framework world that exists. I started in the 80s, you know? That's it. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you and I will see you tomorrow. <sighs> Today's word you should know is autonomy. It is a noun meaning maintaining independent thought and action, free, self-governing, without dependence on or under control of a higher authority. Herb claims he wants autonomy, but he goes absolutely nuts whenever his boss gives him unstructured assignments. Autonomy. A-U-T-O-N-O-M-Y. I'm the same way. I thrive with structure and ex expectations.